Alright, spacefarers. So I built a chem station and it seems to work sort of like the chem table. Not quite as many options, but these top four are the ones you need. Maybe you need these uh, and some of these, but it's got the basics. So I think this is a better, better build than building a chem table inside. I only have this inside at the moment, and actually I'm I'm struggling to find anything more I need than these four modules. So that's water reclaimer, oxygenator, and climate controller, and storage. Uh, you can you can build a kitchen, you can build a shower, you can build a bed, all of that stuff, but. It's not really super useful. Well, I, I struggle to find a use for it. But I'm gonna try to build this um, printer. Basically just to see what it does. Because I sort of rushed my build on Proteus and uh, did it, you know, according to the manual. Did the habitat, did the things in the normal order. Uh, on a zeal, I skipped ahead to the laboratory or the vehicle bu building just because I knew I would have a use for the hover bike, like finding gold like I did. And so let's check this out, what you can do. You can make bandages, uh, glass containers, batteries, you can do that with a fabricator. I guess this is a, like a mini fabricator then not really much use so a little bit of aluminum wasted there I'm still looking to find a decent source of aluminum on a zeal so I'm not sure that the hover bike is the best means to that end because I think I would have to look around a bit first Alright, so this looks interesting. There's a big pillar over there. And a couple of uh, lava vents. Of some kind. No land here. Let me get on top of this. Here's another one of those. It's not easy to see if there's anything there. And it seems or looks a bit like the others. The other lava sources with lava leaf plants. go towards that pillar there. I'm just gonna slow down here. This uh, in-between mode is pretty good. And the thrusters are halfway down. Well, okay, the black spots, I think, are obsidian. So I'm not interested in that at the moment. So I'm just gonna land by that lithium node and explore on foot. Diamond, no less. So those black spots 
it might just be diamond, actually, instead of obsidian. They look kind of the same, sticking out like that. Titanium, precious metal, lithium, precious metal. There, there are resources here, so I might, I might just put a beacon for the diamond. On the other hand, I have. I have uh, plenty of diamond. I have a diamond node. I'm very near to my base. Well, there's some glare. So it might not be easier to see. Basically, the nodes are where I landed, and there's something over here. Nope. So I guess that's pretty much explored. So do I need to go back, or... I'm sure I do. There's something over there. I'm sure I went that way, but I'll just check it out in case. Yeah, base metal, base metal. Aluminum! It will definitely be worth going here with a spaceship just to pick up aluminum, because that's my bottleneck right now. Um, so yeah, um, utilities, beacon, I'm going to put you right there, excellent, so how much did I get, 20 just from one node, that's excellent. Sun is coming up. Isn't this lovely? Wow. And where am I now? I'm at 40, 40, 50, 50. So I should probably turn around and go back to familiar territory, although that looks interesting over there. So, how about this? And if you go hover mode, you can circle like that. We have an interesting structure here. And that looks, well, okay, it's just So let's let's go up there. Cool. My plan to go, you know, to familiar territory did not work. I'm not fifty seven latitude. Although I have no idea how latitude and longitude correspond to where there's stuff. As far as I know, there's no map or coordinates for Azeal. So I'm just winging it. Oh yeah. Here's some cool stuff. Big forest. Hmm. 
I'm going to follow this trench either way. Let's see if something turns up. The longitude is actually increasing now, so probably I should turn around. There's the lithium glowing. Oh, here are some nodes. Over there is something. Base metal, base metal, magnesium. Oh, I think that's just the trees we left. Alright, and there's our base. Okay, so I have one more thing to do. This is, I've expanded my base. So I got all of this stuff, plus a barracks with a recreational corner here, and a shower. Uh, and I've got two biodomes with just the one smart bin inside because, well, I have plenty of food. Plus, it gets cramped if you stuff it full of, of bins. So here's my base. There's the other biodome. Got some cow giraffes outside. Basically, I've um, explored the planet, Azil, and there's only really one thing left to do. I want to go get some diamond. Add coordinates where, allegedly, there is a guardian. There's another salamander. So she, she's called Sally, of course. There's another Sally. They're twins. Well, not actually, they're clones, I guess. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna look for a diamond node around here. I think I'm in the right place. Maybe not. So this is the direction I want to go, I think. And there's another salamander. So possibly right this way should be a diamond node. There it is. I don't see a guardian. Probably meant it's from a guy on the Steam forums. Probably you meant the salamander. Yep. It is the correct location, but no guardian guarding the diamond. Alright. Here's some mercury. So here's the bridge. Let's check that. Oh yeah. Excellent. That is... I should... Do I have a beacon kit? That will save some time. Oh well. Never mind. Put a beacon there. Oh, with the coordinates. So I'm going to go back to it. And... The weather is turning into a whiteout again, so might as well. Well, that was quick. Might as well go back to base. So I guess this concludes my adventures in 
Osiris New Dawn. There is a new update coming out. Um, promising optimization uh, in multiplayer, above all. So, if you liked how this game plays, then the next version coming up should be um, optimized and quick. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.